Scene Script Have you ever wondered why the de Havilland Comet is considered the worst plane ever? In the early 20th century, the world was captivated by a new era of jet-powered travel. The de Havilland Comet, a British-made aircraft, was at the forefront of this revolution. Launched by the de Havilland Aircraft Company in the late 40s, the Comet was destined to change the world of aviation. As the world's first commercial jet airliner, the Comet was an embodiment of innovation and advancement. It was the promise of a new age, a beacon of progress in a rapidly evolving world. This streamlined silver marvel was designed to deliver speed, comfort, and efficiency, offering passengers an experience they'd never forget. The Comet's creation was a testament to the ambition and ingenuity of its makers. It was born out of a desire to redefine the boundaries of commercial aviation, to push beyond the limits of what was then considered possible. It was an aircraft that dared to dream, a machine that promised to take us into the future. When the Comet took to the skies, it was met with awe and admiration. The public was infatuated with this shining symbol of modernity. Newspapers hailed it as a marvel of engineering, a triumph of human ingenuity. Passengers were thrilled by the prospect of jetting across the globe at unprecedented speeds. The Comet, it seemed, was destined for greatness. But beneath the glamour and the glory, the Comet carried with it a dark secret. An unfortunate flaw that would soon bring about its downfall. The world was so enamored with the promise of the comet that it overlooked the potential for disaster. As the comet soared above the clouds, the world watched in anticipation. The future of aviation had arrived and it was more exciting than anyone could have imagined. But as we would soon discover, the comet's journey was not destined to be smooth sailing. Little did we know the comet was destined for a turbulent journey. Just as the comet was taking off, so too were its problems. The de Havilland Comet, the world's first commercial jet airliner, was a symbol of post-war optimism and technological prowess. Yet underneath the glimmer and glamour, an ominous shadow was beginning to take shape. The first few flights were nothing short of spectacular, and the Comet was lauded as the future of aviation. However, it wasn't long before the first reports of issues began to surface. Pilots reported unexplained changes in altitude and alarming vibrations at high speeds. Then came the first crash. A comet jet, just a few months into service, plunged into the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Italy, killing everyone on board. The aviation world was stunned. This was followed by another crash, this time in India. The comet had been flying at an altitude of 20,000 feet when it inexplicably dived into the Earth. It was a devastating blow and the public's faith in the comet began to wane. The aviation industry, initially ecstatic about the comet's potential, now began to question its safety. The crashes were investigated, but no definitive cause was identified. This lack of answers only fueled the growing fear and speculation. Was the comet too advanced, too ambitious for its time? Or was there a fundamental flaw in its design that was being overlooked? The public's reaction was one of shock and disappointment. The comet, once a symbol of hope and progress, was now associated with tragedy and failure. Sales plummeted and many airlines began canceling their orders. The dream of the comet was quickly turning into a nightmare. Meanwhile, de Havilland was in crisis mode trying to salvage the reputation of their groundbreaking aircraft. But as they grappled with the mounting problems, they were unaware of an even bigger issue lurking in the shadows. The problems they were experiencing were not isolated incidents, but symptoms of a much deeper flaw in the comet's design. But these were just the tip of the iceberg. The comet's downfall wasn't just due to bad luck, it was a fatal design flaw. Now let's delve into the heart of the matter. You see, the comet's design was groundbreaking, no doubt, but it was this very innovation that led to its downfall. The culprit? The comet's square windows. Yes, you heard that right, square windows. At first glance, it might seem like an innocuous design choice. After all, windows are just windows, right? Not quite. In the world of aviation, every detail matters. The Comet was the first commercial jetliner to fly at high altitudes, where the air pressure is significantly lower than at ground level. This means that the pressure inside the cabin is significantly higher than the outside. Now, this pressure difference isn't a problem in itself. The problem arises when this pressure difference is repeatedly applied and relieved, like when an aircraft descends and descends during a flight. This is where the square windows come into play. The corners of these windows turned out to be points of high stress concentration. 
Every time the aircraft ascended or descended, these corners bore the brunt of the pressure difference, leading to what is known as metal fatigue. Over time, this metal fatigue led to tiny cracks forming at the corners of the windows. Now these cracks might have been small, but their consequences were anything but. These tiny cracks were the beginnings of catastrophic failure. They grew with each flight, each ascent, each descent, until they reached a critical size. And then, without warning, the fuselage would rupture, leading to a catastrophic decompression and ultimately a fatal crash. This tragic design flaw brought about the end of the comet, but it also led to a significant advancement in aviation safety standards. The lessons learned from the comet's downfall led to drastic changes in aircraft design, most notably the switch to round windows and the implementation of rigorous fatigue testing. This was a lesson learned the hard way, and it forever changed the aviation industry. In the wake of the comet's failures, the aviation world was left reeling. This catastrophe wasn't just a blip on the radar, it was a full-blown storm that sent shockwaves through the industry. For the de Havilland company, the fallout was immense. The once revered British aircraft manufacturer found itself on the brink of oblivion. The Comet, their prized creation, had proven to be their Achilles heel. The financial burden of the crashes, coupled with the loss of public trust, was a one-two punch that left the company staggering. Yet, in the face of adversity, de Havilland showed resilience. They didn't let the Comet's failures define them, but rather used it as a springboard to improve. They learned from their mistakes, made necessary changes, and moved forward. They went back to the drawing board, redesigned the Comet, and even went on to create other successful aircrafts like the Trident and the Dove. But the ripples of the Comet disaster extended far beyond de Havilland. It served as a wake-up call for the entire aviation industry. The complacency that once prevailed was replaced with a heightened sense of vigilance. Safety became the paramount concern, and the industry collectively vowed to never let a disaster of this magnitude happen again. In the aftermath, a new era of aircraft design was ushered in. Engineers and designers started to pay more attention to the effects of metal fatigue and the importance of regular maintenance checks. The Comet's tragic legacy triggered a revolution in aircraft design and safety protocols, leading to the safer skies we enjoy today. But let's not forget the human cost of these lessons. Lives were lost, families were shattered, and trust in air travel was deeply shaken. The Comet's legacy is a stark reminder of the price we pay when we overlook the details. So as we continue to reach for the skies, let's remember the Comet's story. It's a tale of ambition, failure, and resilience. A tale that teaches us the importance of meticulous design, rigorous testing, and never taking safety for granted. The Comet's legacy is one of caution and learning from our mistakes. So why is the de Havilland Comet considered the worst plane ever? Well, let's recall what we've discussed so far. It all started with a wave of excitement. The de Havilland Comet was the world's first commercial jet airliner, and it promised to revolutionize air travel. It was sleek, it was fast, and it was the epitome of luxury. The world was captivated by the potential of this new era in aviation. But then the cracks began to show, both metaphorically and literally. There was a fatal design flaw, square windows that couldn't withstand the pressure of high-altitude flight. This led to a series of catastrophic crashes, resulting in the loss of many lives. The comet's reputation plummeted, and the world's first jet airliner quickly became a symbol of disaster. The aftermath was devastating for the aviation industry. The comet's failures led to a loss of public confidence in air travel and it took years for the industry to recover. But on a positive note, it also led to significant advancements in aircraft design and safety regulations. The lessons learned from the comet's failures have helped to make air travel one of the safest forms of transportation today. The comet's legacy is a complex one. It's a story of innovation and ambition, of failure and loss, and of lessons learned. It's a reminder of the importance of careful design and rigorous testing in aviation, and of the high stakes involved in getting it wrong. The Comet story is a tragic reminder of the importance of design in aviation. And if you found this video enlightening, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more interesting aviation stories. Until next time, keep your curiosity.